Guys, do you even live? Hello there guys, <laughs> welcome back into yet another one with us to review bros. My name's Aaron. My name's Craig. <laughs> and today we are of course joined again in harmony on yet again another pre-workout review. And what does it come in today, Craig? Today we've got the pleasure of reviewing Lift Powders pre-workout spelt with a Y, not an I. Let's get into the usuals, the taste, the price, the label, and the effects. Is this a product you watching right now might potentially purchase in the future? We've actually had our hands on this tub for a considerable amount of time. We do apologize to Lift Powders. Got around to it in the end. Today, we find out the truth. What do we want them to do, Craig? And if you're new here and you like the video, please do subscribe, hit the bell icon. You know, all the usuals, push all the buttons. All of the usuals, guys. It does help us out and we really do appreciate it. Let's not keep you waiting, let's go. And we're in the taste of mixability, and we have got iron blue flavour. <laughs> iron blue! <laughs> bastard. <laughs> Gotta be done, hasn't it? It comes in one other flavour, Venom Cocktail, so who knows what that is when you're at home, eh? So we've done a pre-mixing session, as we normally do in these reviews, and it looks like that orange iron blue flavour. You show the mixability, I'm going to take my liners out. Mixability actually looks pretty solid. It is only a 16 gram scoop, guys. Importantly, and fair play to them over at Life Lift Powders, apologies. Um, they've mentioned on their story, and it's rightly so, that a full scoop, even a flat scoop, is about 20 grams. You only want 16 grams, so you want about four fifths of a scoop, three quarters to four fifths of a scoop, around that, around that ballpark. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Anyway, I'm excited. It smells nice, I think. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, as that, um, okay. sorry to say it, that thick, slimy, slimy, yeah. slimy texture to it. Mm. Texture, feel, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not a texture. Consistency. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Something about it just don't sit right with me personally. No. It don't taste like, to me, sorry, don't taste like iron brew. No. More like an orange flavour. Yeah. Would you agree? Mm, I'd say not... maybe like iron brew mixed with orange juice. Yeah, which sounds nice, but. Yeah. It's not that nice. Yeah, something about this really rubs me the wrong way. I think it's the sliminess and the. Really weird back consistency, end. weird yeah. flavour. It is weird. It reminds me of like a those horrible like mango, pineapple, orange flavoured pre workouts back in the day. Kind of like I don't know, Explosive Eight was originally. Um, there's others, but it's not true for the matter. Is the absolute honesty is we don't like it. Yeah. We don't. I got a score in mind. It's not. A, don't, don't get me wrong, it's not like completely undoable. No, it's not vile. But, I imagine um, it gets worse towards the bottom though, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, obviously we've had it before a couple of times, but I was just hoping it would be better. <laughs> oh, it ain't nice. It's getting worse every sip. <laughs> i got a score. I'm going to go with it. Have you? We're going to do it. Yeah, go on then. Three, two, one. Three, Three out, out of ten. ten. Yeah. Five is average, bear in mind, guys, so... Yeah. I wouldn't, look, I'd get the other flavour, 100%, all day and daily. I wouldn't like looking forward to this every other day or whenever you use it. I just wouldn't look forward to this. Yeah, especially, it's particularly upsetting because it's more of a daily driver pre, not to jump the gun too much, but you want them to taste nicer. Don't you? Has it got any hidden goodies? Will it come out with potent effects? Let's get into the price point first though, very important. Yeah. 
And we're into price and priceability. How much is this going to set you back? Are you going to need to run on down to the bank and get a mortgage out for this product? Well, head on over to the official liftpowders.com website where you'll see this pre-workout for sale, of course. For 26.99 pennies. 20 servings is the downside element, isn't it? Uh, yeah, to be honest with you, I'm an open-minded guy, but I'd like to have seen 25 to 30 servings for this caliber of product. Talking almost jumping the gun again a little bit, <laughs> but that's the truth, be there. Pound and 35 great British sterling. USA guys, if you was able to get your hands on this, it would be a dollar and 59 per serving. You ask, where does that fall on the price scale? The consistent review bros price scale at that. 6.5 <laughs> out of 10. Cheaper than your average product, yes, indeedy. But will the ingredients and the effects make it worthy of even that 6.5 score. Let's go. Right, it's um, label time. What are we getting in this bad boy? What is this 16 grand packing? It's packing some goods. So we've got um, energy, three calories. Wow. Be yeah. careful, you're gonna break that fast. <laughs> you like that, didn't you? Then we've got um, some carbs, 0.1 grams, which is of which sugars. Yeah, people are asking why is this even there, especially USA guys and overseas guys. It's one of these UK compliance thingies, a bit silly. No one really thinks you're gonna get protein or carbs or calories from your pre-workout, but hey, here we are. Exactly, right. So I'm gonna be honest, half of this is just vitamins, so I'm just gonna list them all off and then Aaron can touch on it. So we've got Vitamin B1, vitamin B2, vitamin B3, vitamin B6, folic acid, vitamin B12, biotin, and then B5. I mean, let's be honest, you're not here for your vitamins and minerals. Don't get me wrong, some of them are healthy, obviously help with general bodily function, energy production, you name it. They all do a bit of this and a bit of that. Nothing too specific to a pre-workout. You're not going to notice it 30 minutes later when you're smashing that bench press apart. Exactly. So not necessarily needed, but we'll take it anyway. So we're moving into the actual meat and potatoes now. So we've got some L-arginine at 4,880 milligrams. I mean, a respectable dose, but let's all be relatively honest. The science behind L-arginine is very outdated, isn't it? It's a, an early 2000s or even late 90s ingredient. You know, there's a lot better out there in terms of pumps, nitro oxide precursors and uh, vascularity nutrient delivery it delivers all that stuff but not too well yeah uh, then we move on to beta alanine at two grams would have liked to have seen it at that trademarked clinical dose guys 3.2 grams but we'll take it anyway it's going to give some beta tingle itchy paraphysia type feeling as the pre-workout kicks in potentially at that dose not too sure and once you've taken a higher dose for a long enough period of time it will help with endurance in the gym. Yeah, we'll take any tingles we can get from that. Then we've got L-citrulline, actually. It is here at two grams. Low dose. Would have liked to have seen that at least four grams. Again, similar to L-arginine. Pumps, nitro oxide production, vascularity, vasodilation, nutrient delivery, blood flow. Yeah, L-citrulline is basically the good version of L-arginine. So they, we'd have preferred to just see a bigger dose of L-citrulline. L, L yeah, at least four grams. Yeah. Preferably five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you name it. Yeah, and then we move down to betaine HCL, actually, at 1.5 grams. Hmm, interesting. Obviously, people get that confused with betaine and hydrous. People think it's going to give you pumps, it's going to give you endurance and that. I mean, it helps with an athletic performance side of things, but it's in there to help level out acidity levels within the stomach, general bodily function. Anything of recovery a little bit? Yeah, more of a healthy type angle of it, isn't it? Mm. Then we've got creatine, and we don't even know what form of creatine. It just says creatine at a gram. Pointless. Let's be honest, you need at least three grams. In this day and age, we'd always like to see that at five grams. It's point. It's pointless, let's be honest. Creatine, even at full doses, a lot of people argue it's not necessary in a pre-workout. And I agree, because again, similar to the um, other bit that I mentioned earlier, you're not going to notice it straight away. It's over a long period of time. Yeah, the only time we don't mind it in pre is if it's in more of a daily driver and it's at max dosage. 
Yeah, so... Um, but, yeah. It's pointless. Might as well have crossed that out. Yeah, so speaking of pointless, we've got BCCA211, one gram. Yeah, and admittedly, the guy there, nice, seems like a nice guy. Um, he admitted the spelling mistake on this, and it might well be rectified on the new tub, so do not quote us on that. However, with that being said, BCAs... <sighs> Even if it was at three, four, five, six grams, which it needs to be up there, BCAAs are regarded as pointless in the supplement world to a degree because if you have any form of a balanced diet, you're going to be getting your BCAAs from several different things as long as long as well as sorry the body producing yeah. its own EAAs, essentials, ones you cannot perform or make within the body, are more important. But yeah, again, one gram of BCAAs is going to do absolute nothing from a pre-workout stance. <laughs> it's <laughs> to, just... put it, to put it nicely, nothing. Then we've got L-tyrosine at 500 milligrams. Needed that doubled. Amino acid for focus, clarity, concentration. Straight normal caffeine, 300 milligrams. That's, I'd actually honestly, and no offense again, I'd actually say that's the only ingredient in this product that's gonna do anything at all at the dosage it's been given at. Three cups worth of coffee, energy drink level. At least that's doing what it says on the tin it's gonna do, and that's give you energy and stimulation. Exactly, so we are ticking a bit of every box we look for, but just to an extremely mild degree. Now, my honest opinion, I always give it the label out of 10, it gets a two. <laughs> one for the bit of beta tingle and one for the caffeine. Yeah, that's that's the truth. That's the honest and harsh truth as it sounds. Let's get into the effects. Destination effects. The train is rolling in right now, guys. Is it time to step off and purchase this product? Well, let's start at the beginning the real world effects of using this product what did you think of the beta alanine we always start with that because you know what if it's in the product it's normally the first thing you feel like really most of the time aaron's correct and actually it's in here at two grams we'd like to normally see 3.2 grams the the clinical amount it kicked in better than we thought and we do think that's because it is quite a basic label there's not too much to get in the way of the beta alanine kicking in so it kicked in above average what did you give it out of six ten? yeah six on the tingle scale so Always. enough to set the tone right yeah it felt more like two and like if we're really nitpicking it felt like more like two and a half grams of beta alanine but yeah. There we go. So what comes in next is a very, very daily driver-esque sense of energy. Would mm. you agree? Yeah, I mean, it's, what is it, 300 caffeine? So yeah. A few cups of coffee. Standard. Worth, a strong energy drink level. I'd say that feels about right. And so that combined with the with the beta aniline is, is enough to get you out your chair and get you down the gym. It's enough. It's not going to tick stim junky boxes. It's not a strong pre-workout. In fact very suitable for a beginner level. Someone who's new to the pre-workout world, you know, 300 milligrams of caffeine is not upper echelon, is it? No, it's very around average for these days, isn't it? What comes in other than that, in all honesty, not too much. So that's the, that is the absolute truth of the matter. You are being driven by that caffeine and beta, aren't you? You are, it gives you a slight sense of focus, you know, it, it does enough to get you through your training session. If it's a nicer body part, it would struggle on a nasty leg day, probably even a nasty back day, you know? Yeah, Chest, just. Arms, probably, yeah. Shoulders, yeah. That's where it really probably is suitable. Yeah, and what we have said is it does actually come together better than the label looks. Like we said, we'd give the label like a two out of 10 on a good day. In reality, well, we'll get into score shortly, but it surprised us. It weren't, weren't bad. It's definitely better than expected, but it must be emphasised, guys. It is a, a weaker product than, than general, isn't it? It just is. It's The pumps were okay. It, the pumps might have been the... I don't know. They might have been in line with that energy point around the... Middle area. Very mid, very middle of the table. Yeah, obviously there's one stimulant in this pre-workout. You know, I'm sure a lot of you guys are used to taking pre's with several or more stimulants in them. So. Yeah, that's where we say for beginners, yes. 
There are a couple of things that I would need to mention that kind of don't fall into the effects. But I'll, uh, I'll wrap up with them on the end, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So what have we said so far? So energy is very smooth and very middle middle ground. Um, beta aniline was better than expected. Pumps are around middle ground. Focus was there to a degree, but nothing tunnel vision. It's the caffeine mostly carrying it. So what? Energy drops, energy drops off towards the end of the training session. It There's does. no denying that. Your personal perseverance and motivation carries you through the training session more so than the caffeine at the end because 300 is not going to last too long. No, and how long does the energy last for you? On this brief, 45 minutes. Oh, really? Total. Hour. Yeah, it's, it is quite dependent if you are sensitive to caffeine or not. If you're quite sensitive to caffeine, it will do the job. Yeah, I think for me, maybe an hour to an hour and a half before it started. It's the truth is, it gets points because it has no negatives. Mm. I wouldn't say I crashed, crashed off nastily at the end of the session. You just know that it's done. It's yeah. done. It's not got any endurance points. Very obviously, guys, no euphoria, highness, mood elevation. Savage pumps in the gym and the bedroom. Wolf pump. It's... I almost, to be honest with you, it's very, very similar to taking an energy drink. I was just going to say that with a little bit of beta aniline to boot, you know? That's it. It gets no discounted points because of nausea, no nausea, no appetite suppression, no thermogenic sweats, nasty feelings, it's over the top stimuli. There's no negatives to it, so therefore I do think it actually gets a couple of points put on because of that. Exactly, yeah. You know what you're getting with this pre workout. It's a very basic, get the job done, you know relatively forgettable experience but it's hitting all the elements we look for around the sort of four to five pushing maybe five and a half in some in that middling realm i mean for me for me i'd slam it right on in a five out of ten for the effects now you some a lot of people are going to be like the label looks two out of ten which it does it does it does however come together slightly better than the label suggests that five out of ten point and like i say it does gain a couple of points because there's no negatives to the product yeah and i've taken pre's with better labels than that that i've had worse effects from yeah we got through the training session and actually crushed it but mm. now like i said halfway through this effects section couple of things for me the truth for the effects I expect it to taste very good, or at least good. And how limited the label is, there's not much to flavour. I'd, I'd expect it to taste a lot better. Yeah. The other thing I really would expect is the price point to be around the 80 pence to one pound mark. You want to see 30 serves at the end of the day. Yeah. That's the bottom line. I'd pay, um, well, I say that, I would potentially purchase this product for 26.99 if I was getting 30 servings. Yeah. I, I'm an honest guy. I can't justify 26 99 for 20 servings. I just can't. There's just so much better on the market for around that price point. For what you're getting for this pre. It needs to be a pound or less per serving. It just needs to be. Mm, and I do think they've padded out that label with all the vitamins so if you glance at it you think it's stacked but if obviously you're well versed in the industry then you'll know that half of those don't really do anything yeah all. you look at it the bcaa nothing creatine nothing at that dose l tyrosine minimal um betaine hcl not really in there for what it's supposed to be in there for or what they probably want it to be in there for l citrulline half of those plus the maybe the agmatine um arginine. not agmatine <laughs> arginine potentially give you some pump beta alanine and caffeine that's about it yeah that is it yeah so i'm um, yeah i was between a five and a five and a half as an overall score but i'm happy to settle on the bang average five like it is just the caffeine and beta when it's all said and done really an absolute beginner maybe but but again like i say i'd want it to taste eight out of ten minimum for the label and, and i'd want it to be a pound a go i yeah. just would or less so we hope that uh, the guys over at Lift Powders do take that on board and make some tweaks. Yeah, he seems like a nice guy, actually. I spoke to him a few times through DMs, and you know what? He's admitted a couple of bits in the label are flawed, and he's looking to make you know improvements in the next batch. So, yeah, we have um, 
some good expectations, shall we say? Yeah, yeah, we'll stay tuned, definitely. We'll stay in touch with them for future iterations. Absolutely. Guys, thank you for watching. Would you purchase this product? Have you used it? We leave all those comments down below and it is appreciated when you drop them. So, at this stage, we always say it. As always, stay steamed. Lift time.